Switching gears to weather now, temperatures outside right now are at 57 degrees. We're looking at some clear skies. This dew point this evening is at 51 degrees, and as those two numbers get closer, we could be seeing some reduced visibility. We're already beginning to see that reduced to seven miles. That's not really a problem, but as we get to the evening, we could be seeing continued reduced visibility along with these calmer winds. That's what's contributing to this tool fog that we're going to be dealing with overnight. Calm winds here in the valley, clear skies, as well as moisture in our air and high pressure. This is that high pressure system that's going to be contributing to the chances of fog through the evening, as well as keeping temperatures pretty mild for us moving forward. Today we reached 61 degrees. That's slightly above average because of that high pressure system that we're dealing with. And as we continue into the weekend, we could be dealing with some rain chances beginning uh, into the afternoon on Friday, as you can see through our mountain communities. But as we get to Saturday, we could be seeing some of those scattered thunderstorms. Saturday night is when we're going to be seeing more widespread impacts. Heavier rain and thunderstorms are expected across the county, and we could be seeing that last into Monday. Monday is when we could be seeing the most significant impacts with this storm system. This could be the heaviest rainfall that we've seen so far this year. In addition to this, we're looking at a winter storm watch in effect that's lasting through Tuesday early Tuesday morning for our highest mountain communities that's extending up to the Sierra Nevadas, but only really impacting us here in our northernmost Kern Mountains. As we get through tonight and tomorrow, overnight lows are expected to be in the 40s. And because of that high pressure system and these warmer temperatures, we are not looking at any significant snowfall in our areas. 50s and 60s in our mountain communities as this storm system continues to pass, things are expected to stay on the warmer end for us in the 60s, 40s and 50s for our mountain communities. So there's really no chance of snow at the pass level as of right now. Friday brings cloudy conditions throughout the day as that storm system begins to build and move into our area. Air quality will be in the moderate category. We're going to be seeing temperatures nearing 70 degrees on Friday. Rain chances begin Saturday lasting into next week. We're seeing temperatures drop into those lower 60s. Our mountain communities are going to be looking at highs mostly in the 50s for Lake Isabella, 50s dropping down into those upper 40s for Tehachapi and Fraser Park. Rain chances beginning on Saturday, lasting into next week for our mountain communities. And like I said, we're not expecting any significant snow. We could be seeing snow at our highest peaks across Kern County. But for the most part, because of those warmer temperatures that you're seeing on your screen right now, things are going to be staying pretty mild, mostly with just rain chances across Kern County.